YouTube, Volkery D Queen here, and happy Halloween! Woo! It's Halloween, and I love that holiday. <laughs> this is a chapter reaction to One Piece 994, also known as Yatomo. Let's get into the chapter. It seems it is, we're still with Gang Dages. Oh My Family cover page, final chapter, swaying to the sounds of gunfire. A happy ship sails onwards, and you see Gay Mage all happy, you see hearts around their ship, and of course, you see the Navy chasing them. <laughs> we also have a note on the side here, a ferocious battle unfolds on Okamishima. Volume 97 is currently on sale with rave reviews. So we start out with where we left off. Kaido fighting the Red Scabbers. Thug goes down Kiku and her arm has been severed. And it looks like her arm and her shoulder has been severed. Like right here at the shoulder, where the strap is, has been severed. Thumb. Then you get a picture of Kaido and then Kaido's men all blacking out. There seems to be some type of energy expelling out. You see one of the musketeers and Inurashu get away from the roof. Yes, sir. Telling the Minks tribe to basically get away from the roof. Eyes Izo goes straight to Kiku and starts banding up. His severed arm, his part, his, where the part that he severed. It, it looks more like it's got severed more right here, right barely at the shoulder. Kinemon's sword is all flamed up, and he cartalizes the wound. Ugh. Oh, Izu tightens the bandage, and Kinemon cartalizes the wound with a firing sword. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And it sizzles. Ooh. Can you stand? Kiki Joro says Kinemon. Huff, huff, of course. And then Izo's behind Kiku. Kiki Joro. Ro, 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 says laughs Kaido. That's how it should be. That unwavering resolve. I like you, Samurai, as did Roger and Whitebeard. And then you have a panel of Nekamamushi, Ashura Doji, Raizo, Kitamon, Kiku, Aizo, and Inurashu. You put up a good fight, says Kaido. Huff, huff. Um, Inurashu and Nekamamushi are huffing. That means they're really pushing themselves in their sulong form. Kaido. It is not with the advantages of time, but rather in death that humans truly obtain perfection. This is Kaido's monologuing. Wouldn't you agree? Let's end this. Okay, so Kaido's in the belief that he really likes the samurai because they they have an unwavering resolve of what they want to accomplish, even if it's in the face of their own death. And that they put up a good fight. He Kaido even missed it. You put up a good fight. And then that there's advantage there's advantages of facing death and truly attaining perfection. Wouldn't you agree? Let's end this. Kaido has turned back into his human Oni form. And then Kinemon says, Don't flatter yourself, Kaido. Being killed by you would bring us no honor. Okay. That's interesting that what, what Kinemon says to that. Inside the castle's first floor. Whoa, it's Straw Hat Luffy and Jinbei. Watch out, they're incredibly strong. <laughs> Hurry! 
hurry, hurry. We have to get to Kinemon. Why don't you mention Blackleg? Oh, Sanji's fist, because they don't mention him. Oh, don't worry, Mo Sanji. You are the monster trio. Jinbei is just... I wouldn't say Monster Trio, I would say New World Trio <laughs> if we ever get more New World members. <laughs> Just keep running. I want to kick Kaido's ass already. Luffy's running and Jinbei and Sanji are taking care of the fodder. Good. Boy, you lot are so pathetic. Okay, so this is uh, one of Kaido's men saying that. You see just a leg. Master Fortrix, Master Hamlet, we can't stop their advance. Okay, these are... <laughs> these smiley users are so weird. These poor guys. Okay, I, I have to describe. One is a giraffe, but the guy is the face of the giraffe. So you have the giraffe and then the face is a guy and then you have a chicken but the chicken's face the guy's face for this chicken smiley and this giraffe the giraffe smiley for the chicken smiley his face is the chicken's butt oh my god so basically the chicken's head is the guy's butt <laughs> All right, 100 Beast Headliners, four tricks, the Chicken Smiley, and 100 Beast Pirates Headliner, Hamlet, Giraffe Smiley. Oh my god. <laughs> it is hilarious. Just, just seeing them like that is just hilarious. Metacore, that's what you guys are. Ex Expectations is what we will be expecting. Quiet down. <laughs> the way you swarm is annoying, and Sanji catches, kicks the chicken guy, and Jimmy kicks the giraffe guy. <laughs> Giraffe! <laughs> I'm sorry, just... <laughs> Master Hamlet! Master Fortrix! <laughs> Lie floor! Ugh! I got bitten! Oh, the ice demon! The plague! Queen the plague! <laughs> Laughs Queen. <laughs> it's cold! Help me! Master Queen, why are we also getting dragged into this? <laughs> it's cold, so cold! I'll turn into a demon! So he's not just Queen sacrificing his own men and whoever's down there. Pleasures, laughing is all you are good at. Make yourselves useful. <laughs> That's what Queen says. Oh. That's fucked up. <laughs> so this is the plague. Don't touch them. Fend them off with your weapons. Queen, that bastard. He's insane. Okay, so you have some of the Obe-Wam Waman group and some of the samurai group as well. They're in the middle of this and they're being attacked by the people because it, whoever has this ice demon plague, they're attacking whoever is closest to them. They don't care who you are. It doesn't matter who you're allied with. They're diseased and they're acting that way. These demons blindly attack allies and enemies alike. So the Obama Waman group and some of the Samis have formed a circle to fend off the, the, the ice demons. Boss Harugo! Boss Oshimas got infected! Boss Harugo, forgive me! Rather than hurting my comrades, 
I'd rather prefer to. Don't be so rash, you fool. I don't want to become a demon. He's crying. The, it's the bigger boss guy, and he has a knife to his chest, saying, I'd rather kill myself than, than hurt my men and become this demon. There should be a way to cure it. When all hope is lost, I will cut you down without hesitation. Don't hesitate your death. Come on, come on. Brother, stop, please. This is a beast pirate saying this to his brother. We are both joined this pirate crew together, didn't we? This is way too cruel, Master Queen. You're involving our comrades in this too. Ah! People are screaming. Making a drug and going around infecting it into all the demons in the midst of battle is way too unrealistic, says Chopper. Chopper's in his kung fu point. And Brooks behind him. What then? But unlike at Udon, the mastermind that created the virus is here right now in this place. The creator of the virus will surely have made an antibody, so he should have it on him. If we could get our hands on it, we can produce it in large quantities. Ooh, go Chopper! I, ooh, I knew it. Chopper's gonna face Queen! Go Chopper! Go! That, that's exciting. I, I'd rather see that. that. That would be very interesting for Chopper to go against Queen and, and get this cure. Of all the people, it had to be an all-star. To pull it off would be a daunting task rather than their violent conduct. I'm more concerned about the after effects. Such increase in ferocity and strength and a abnormal freezing of the skin, too. Zoro just cut someone down that tried to go, the ice demon that tried to go for him. There's no way a human body can endure this. How do we take them out? Are they zombies or what? What if we leave them be? Would they... They'll die. <laughs> if you're infected, you'll die within an hour. So they have an hour to cure these people. Crunch time, man. These ice demons were... They your friends, your leaders, your subordinates? <laughs> Queen shouting this down below. Right now, they are probably the most... Extinct... Excited they'll ever been. <laughs> chaos and jeering. Chopper doesn't look... He's, he's, he looks angry. He looks really angry. Make sure to kiss them goodbye. You'll get infected, though. <laughs> Please stop. He's gone and created another repulsive weapon, says Apu. I'm getting the hell out of here. He goes to a door. Hey, open the, this door. Hey, brother Apu, Tuss. Huh? What is this? It's the one and only antibody that exists in this world. Oh, for the ice demon? If that gets stolen, it's the chopping block for you. Ooh. So all they now have to do, not queen, they have to defeat Apu. <laughs> Say, what? Well then, let's begin. The Queen presents live game show. <laughs> Everyone's turning towards the poo like, you have the cure? It is time. Antibody. Everyone turns around as they see that. Huh? It wouldn't be a game if I didn't give you a fighting chance. So murder, betray, anything goes. Anything goes. A game of tag with the ice demons. Is that the antibody? People are expressing their... People are turning towards Apu and wanting to tear Apu apart for the antibody. Zoro, please steal that off of him. I'm on it. Don't let them get their hands on it. Our comrades will die if we do. Don't let the samurai recover. Okay, so 
which I don't get, is the samurai for Orochi, now for our Kaido, are working with the Beast Pirates to stop Zoro from getting the cure. Wait, Queen, this is way too crazy, you bastard! A poo, if you manage to escape for an hour, you win, and everyone dies. <laughs> Says Queen, fight and kill each other over it. Now we cut inside the dome, right? Brain Tower. Wait, yeah. You don't really think you can escape us with that kind of burden, do you? Young Master Yamato, you have the armored crops against Yatomo, who's defending Shinobu. Who are you, says Momonosuke? Our mission will end as long as you, as we kill that brat. I don't know who you are, but if you are an ally, please protect Master Momonosuke. I'll save you too, Miss Shinobu. Twenty years ago, I was present at Kazuki Odin's execution. And you see, you see Yatomo, she's she, her hair is back, and she's wearing a mask. Huh? Who do you call a foolish lord? Say it again if you dare. I was moved to tears when I heard those words. Bum, bum. I was moved to tears by how Kazuki Odin lived his life. Says Yachimo. And a big explosion hits. Arrgh! There's smoke everywhere. You get dot dot dots from Momonosuke. Momonosuke, that day I rushed to Curie Castle to save you. Huh? How are you unharmed? Yatomo is unharmed from that explosion. That's good to see. But I'm sorry, I could only watch on as Kaido threatened to drop you from the rooftop. Sasuke's like, question, um, question mark. Oh, it doesn't seem like she's unharmed. She's unharmed, but she seems like she has scratches or at least dirt on her. That, on um, her, I'm just going to call Yatomo her. Okay, I'm, I'm just tired of figuring out what Yatomo is. Or understanding Yatomo's just a girl. Her. Pronouns of her. I, I've decided. Yeah, I've been debating about that for a while. And I've just decided her is fine. Comment down below <laughs> if you think it should be her or him for Yatomo. Yatomo, I'm just going with her. Right now. That day I was not strong enough. Huh? Oh, she smashed one of the dudes back. And Sasuke is like, surprised. Who, who are you? A short while ago, I'll introduce myself as Odin, but I'm also known as Yotomo. And I'm prepared to die for you. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. You get a shot of Yachimo. She's a little dirty. She just kicked back some um, some guy of the armored crops for the smiley. Surprised Sasuke. And she has now introduced herself to Momo as, as Yachimo. Because she first introduced that I am Kazuki Oden. And she is explaining that I have witnessed Odin's Kazuki's execution. It inspired me of what he lived his life of and everything. And it's shocking Momo and Shinobu of the strength of Yatomo because Yatomo just took a full on explosion and, and, and tossed someone aside like it was nothing with her club. Yeah. So 994 ends. Break next week. It was a good chapter. I liked it. It's it was the more the end of the chapter was about Yatomo introducing Yatomo, 
we already have several things set up. So Luffy's still moving to the top. Kiku is still alive and not bleeding out, but she did lose an arm. And she got her wound cartelized by Kinemon with a flaming sword and bandaged. Which is good, because then it would prevent it from bleeding out everywhere. And Zo Kaido does... Kaido does... You know, praise them that they're strong warriors. But he's still fighting, and I still have a sinking suspicion that we're going to see the... But Kinemon also says something. Don't flatter yourself, Kaido. Being killed by you would bring us no honor. So I know that is interesting. So they're going to fight, fight, fight Kaido till their death if they have to, but they don't want to be killed by Kaido. They want to defeat Kaido and live past him, but they understand the reality that it may not be possible and they may have to end up giving their lives just to take him out. And then... You get a scene with uh, Luffy, Sanji, and Jimbei as they're moving upwards, and... Oh my gosh, oh no! <laughs> it's so funny, he's he's taken this smiley poop, and he's gone so much funny. Literally, one guy is a chicken's butt. Yeah. And the other guy is a giraffe's face. That, that's it. So a giraffe sprouted from his back. And he has legs there. Okay. And then... It was just... Oh, just hilarious. <laughs> now we figured out with Queen in his plague, he has doomed his own men. And he's also doomed Apu. And he's given Apu a chance. Keep this away, the cure for an hour, away from everyone, and I'll cure you eventually, as long as you keep it away from everyone. And we also find this that Chopper says the person who created this has a cure on them, or they wouldn't be doing this, because what if they're infected? They would want to cure themselves and have the antibody for it. So Queen does, he gives it to Apu, there is a challenge. Chopper says to Zoro, go get the cure. So this is a poo against Zoro for the cure. He has less than an hour. Zoro's going to win. Z Zoro is going to win. And Chopper's going to cure everyone, and it's going to tie into Chopper's dream of being able to cure any disease. And I think that's wonderful, because Apu right now is, like, being chased by almost everyone. What shocked me, though, is that that the samurai that's in charge of Orochi slash Kaido's samurai force has said, don't let the samurai recover it. So he's referring to Zoro not to recover the cure. And I wonder why, because it, his own men's affected by this this outbreak of this ice demon disease. And they're trying to prevent and I think it's the assumption that Chopper's not gonna cure everyone. And I think they don't understand that Chopper does cure everyone. And they think that if the samurai if Zoro gets a hold of it, that they won't be able to cure their own men or Kaido's men, and in the reality it's going to cure them all, because I don't think Queen would cure his fodder, basically, his other men, or that sem the samurai, because they, they don't really put a value to it. Why endanger your men in the first place like that? Unless you have mass quantities, and, in, and he doesn't have mass quantities of the antibody, he only has a little bit of it. So I just don't think they've realized that or have come to the inclusion of that because they're giving Orochi the benefit of the doubt. And, and the stuff with the Yatsumo is beautiful. 
because you get flashbacks of Yashima at the execution and Shinobu's flex flashback of what she said that the, Odin's not a foolish lord and she took on direct hit of an explosion she's not really harmed from it but she looks like dirty from it like some ash all over her and she already took one of those guys out with a big hit I'm gonna call Yatomo a girl just because she said this Yatomo and I'm prepared to die for you even when she introduced that I claimed to introduce myself as Odin but I'm also known as Yatomo and be prepared to die I'm just gonna call Yatomo a girl she's not really identifying as a man She's more identifying just as a person, as Odin, because she's inspired by Odin's dream and everything. And I was... the beginning, I wasn't sure in what she was proclaiming, because it is a little confusing. And I think there's going to be more development there, but Yatomo is just a girl. If you don't agree with me, leave a comment down below and write your reasons why, and we'll discuss about it, because... It is an interesting topic. How, what do you, how do you see Yatomo? Is Yatomo a man or a woman? Is Yatomo a he or a she? Or is it both he, she, or them? Because she's describing, um, introducing herself as a Kozuki Odin. So maybe she's a them. Either way, good chapter. We are on break next week. So I'm going to do more, I'm going to choose a topic. Should it be about a location, a devil fruit, or a person? Write on the descriptions down below which one you think it should be. It should be a person in the One Piece world, a devil fruit in the One Piece world, or a location in the One Piece world. Thank you very much, YouTube, and bye. Have a wonderful day.